Satan wants you to believe he doesn't exist. He hide in the movies. He hide in TV programs. He hide in performances. He hide in secular music. He hide in the pornography. He hide in glamorous image. He hide on Facebook. He hide on TikTok. He make you just keep chatting, chatting, and forget time to pray. He hide in the Facebook, make you keep sending picture, and you don't go to Bible study or time for prayer. Satan wants you to believe he doesn't exist. The Bible says in the book of Revelation 12, 9, that he deceived not one per person, not thousand, but the whole world. And he's deceived the whole world. Revelation 12, 9. The Bible say in John 8, 44, that the native language of Satan is lies, cheating, lies. That is native language. Everybody has a language that he, he was born with, the mother tongue, that you are born speaking. That Satan speak his language, that he speak clearly is cheating. Actually, the Bible says that people will be sealed to the kingdom of darkness through lies. That's the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. That because people they are refusing to believe God and to repent, they keep sinning, they will be God will send a powerful delusion. They believe the lie. The Bible says actually God will send a powerful delusion. They believe the lie. A lie will be going on. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. The Bible says in Second Thessalonians chapter 2, the secret power of darkness is at work. And only those who pray and in his truth and spirit can know. Like Elijah could see, our people are lost. They were worshiping Baal. He could see. Nehemiah could see our, our, the wall of Jerusalem is broken because he was praying and he was walking with the Spirit of God. The Bible says that lies will be used to seal people to the way of darkness. And the Bible says in uh, Revelation chapter number 19 that actually those who deluded they will be deluding people to keep the, the mark of satan they will be deluding sending their delusion those who deluded the bible says in revelation 19 those who deluded the people who had the mark of the beast they will be put to the fire so what are we saying here the enemy will use cheating to enforce his work on earth and to make sure we are all lost Unless we pray and live with the Spirit, we cannot see. The native language of Satan is cheating. Lies will be used to see people to Satan kingdom or, or to a dark world kingdom. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and the book of uh, Revelation 19. It says those who were sending those lies, they will be put in the fire. They will be destroyed by the rider of the white horse who is Jesus. The Bible says in Daniel 9 that an enemy will allow from verse 23 to 25 will allow powerful cheating to go on people to fear each other and keep at uh, doing long things to each other very powerful devastation will be going on the the enemy will win many through lies through lies and unless you pray you will not be able to win the battle in your way to god or way to heaven you are there you're not a christian Satan wants you to keep drinking. He hide, Satan hide in the drinking of alcohol. Satan wants to keep you drinking, drinking, and you never realize that Jesus loves you. You never realize the power of walking with the living God and the Holy Spirit. The enemy make you feel elevated by alcohol, and it's a temporary uh, happiness because he, after the next day you are very bored. It's called the morning after. After drinking alcohol, the morning after is you are very bored. The, you, have, you feel a lot of hopelessness after the drink, the alcohol is finished. Satan wants you to believe you saw strength from alcohol. You feel good or cigarette or, or, or drug or like a marijuana. Because when people, they see they are hopeless or they need to be happy. They say, what can I do? Maybe I drink alcohol. Maybe I do immorality. The enemy wants to see the, the sweetness of life is in women. And after you do, you go doing those things, you are bored. You feel hopelessness. Is uh, the enemy always suffice things that look uh, things of God with other things? He want you to believe that keep following celebrity and sport is what give you meaningful life. 
and so you are lost and you you die without coming to Jesus you keep doing other things it doesn't have to be doing like sin or doing uh, breaking the law you can be as just be following celebrity or in the internet chatting all the time all the time learning life you face the life TikTok, live Facebook doing fun things you can be just be every every the time you are free you're watching sport every time you are free you're watching uh, you're watching uh, uh, various movies there's nothing wrong you're doing if you're watching movie because movies some have lesson like life lesson sport is is a hobby if many people have hobby for sport but the point here is that the enemy want you to believe that is how you are happy all the time you keep doing that you don't have time to pray you don't have time to seek god and swim in the presence of god because what is the philosophy of winning battle of going to heaven what is the philosophy what is the hallmark and what is the key and what is the um, ultimate way that we win and we become victorious Christian and what is the way that we are supposed to win the battle so that we are chosen to enter heaven it is praying every day the Bible say pray always and in spirit of God at all time in the book of Ephesians 6 18 pray always and in the spirit of God read the Bible and practice it the Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 105 that the word of God should be the lamp to our feet and light to our path, guiding us in everything we do. So we need to read Bible every day and apply to our family, apply to where we work, apply it in the church, apply it where we live with our neighbors and with the people we live with them, apply it in every areas of our life. So you need to read the Bible to guide us. But many times we focus the enemy wants us to focus you don't have to be doing long things you can be just as we are saying you can be just be for example working 24 7 to get to build more houses and buy mortgages build businesses and establish empires you can be busy accumulating riches and having a, accumulating a lot of assets and forget what you are called for you are called to worship god live a holy life we need as in as much as we need to work look for our money to support ourselves and our family and meet our expenses we need to focus also a time to read the word of god and pray and live holy life because if we live holy life by letting the spirit of god live in us we are going to be ushered to heaven and will be chosen to inherit the kingdom of the living god the enemy use my control to control many and make him them slave of him Many people have been done might control to be controlled by the enemy so that they are the slave of the devil. You can be a slave of drinking. The enemy control your mind and say, tell you is alcohol, that the way of happiness is alcohol. The way of happiness is accumulating leeches. The way of happiness is, is keep marrying and remarrying. The way of happiness is keep um, chatting and doing unnecessary things on the social media. He, he put lies in your mind. His mind control, mind control, as we are saying, is the one who will be used to put many to the kingdom of darkness, to be sealed to the way of darkness. And telling you things that, uh, uh, like you are saying, it is happiness and life is like this. Life is just accumulating riches, so you don't you don't know you you will die. You can die anytime, anywhere, and leave those riches you are chasing. Reach all the money you have accumulated. He make he control your mind. You see, life is just. If you have money, you will be very happy. But he is not letting you see that if you you can die anytime, anywhere. You can die anytime, anywhere, and leave the billions in your bank. Money can be many in our bank, billions and trillions. But we can die anytime you live with that money and then you go to hell. He doesn't want you to see that the life here is temporal. The Bible says in Colossians chapter, chapter 3 verse 1 to 2, we focus on spiritual things more because where we are going is permanent life. Life after death is permanent in heaven. But if you don't live holy life, you go to hell forever. So life after death is forever in heaven but the enemy want us to focus on temporal life for now it's just money it's just sport it's just tiktok chatting it's just sending picture every day on facebook to see how many like how many comment 
uh, lighting funny things on the social media so you can get many comments and many make uh, they can put funny picture or say something uh, just to see uh, just to keep enjoying and keep uh, saying things and keep uh, elevated by uh, by what people are saying it's good to have fun but the enemy wants you to keep doing that you don't have time to know the truth of the word of God and to know that uh, life is more happier when you have God in your life when you have God in your life and more important you go to heaven when you die so we need to pray always and focus on the word of God don't let the enemy deceive you that the way of life is just uh, if it's the church is just focusing on building building no time to devote ourselves into worship and prayer and seeking God if 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 you are not Christian, the enemy wants to show you, you keep doing other things you don't hear. When you see the word of God, you don't want to listen because he show you uh, that is not important. He, uh, there is no God and he wants you to keep doing that, uh, doing other things and then you die without Jesus. Life on earth is very little. We, no one lives a hundred years. We live here a very short life. Don't let be cheated by the enemy and but your, your body also. Show, our body like things that are not for God. The body wants things that are against God. When he book read in the book of Galatians chapter 5, he wants us to focus, the, our body wants us to focus on material things. But how do we, what is the winning formula here? Is to pray always and in the in spirit of God. If you live your holy life, the Holy Spirit will live in you. If you live holy life and when the Holy Spirit lives in you, He will reveal to you the things of God. If I give you my spirit, you know what I like, how I do things, and you feel how I feel. There's nothing like presence of the Lord. When you feel in the presence of God, there's a lot of peace, a lot of satisfaction, contentment of life. The enemy doesn't want you to realize this. He wants to keep you busy. At Revelation 12, 9, he deceived the whole world. We need to pray always, if you are Christian, and walk with the spirit of god and read the bible and read the bible if you are not christian you need to come to jesus now the bible say second second corinthians 6 2 now is the day of salvation you don't know tomorrow many are dying anytime anywhere or road accident diseases uh, uh, heart attack and it's uh, um, just and things happen and people die and if you die you know go you know go to heaven you'll be put in the hair fire during the day of judgment don't get lost come to jesus now you don't know tomorrow do not let the enemy cheat you do not let the enemy cheat you that the way of life is just uh doing material things like money uh, for doing um just believing on your strength and wisdom and forget that you need to source power from god and to be guided by god come to jesus now do not let the enemy might control you do not let the enemy uh put rise in your mind that life the way of life is following material things. The Bible says in Jeremiah 17 verse 5, Jeremiah 17 verse 5 to 6 that if you, if uh, the curse is the man who believes on, on, trust on material things. Curse is the man who trusts on material things and sourcing power from them or believing on people and sourcing power from people. Because these are temporal things. These are just temporal things. But blessed, Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8, blessed is the man who believes in God. Because when you believe in God, you have fulfillment of life in all your life on earth. And more important, you're going to be ushered to heaven. Be blessed.